Space, the dark empty void where no one can hear you scream. Hello Otaku Map here. Take a seat and strap in as we go on a journey with Astra Lost in Space. In the year 2063, with all the advancements in technology, space travel is possible and commonly used to travel between planets for multiple reasons. Now the plot of Astra Lost in Space is about a group of 9 kids who arrive at the planet Mikpa for planetary camp. Once there, everything goes south as the kids encounter a mysterious sphere that gobbles them up and shoots them out deep in space. Stranded, the group must now work together to make it home. On top of an interesting plot of trying to survive and make it home in one piece, this show executes that concept by having the cast hop from one planet to another. It reminds me of how the characters in Dragon Ball GT would travel from planet to planet in order to reach their goal, but done better. Because instead of focusing on one planet for a handful of episodes, Astro Lost in Space spends no longer than two episodes on a planet at the most. Astra Lost in Space is only 12 episodes, and limiting a planet to an episode or two gives plenty of time to explore and discover what's unique about each one. Adding to this, the pacing never felt slow, and everything that happens is used for either story progression or development of some sort. On that note, in terms of character development, individually it's very little. For example, Kanata from the start is someone who will charge straight into danger to try and protect those around him. It's explained why he acts the way he does, but beyond that there's no noticeable growth that occurs for him and everyone's development is formatted the same way. It starts with seeing how a character acts, whether they are the typical mean girl or the type to befriend everyone, then we get a flashback into said character's past. And finally, they get put into a situation where they have to reflect on the past, ultimately making them a better person. Aside from the moment of growth each individual character gets, most development goes towards situations that have them grow closer together as friends and a team. Shifting gears, Astro Lost in Space is made by Studio Lurche, who you might know for doing the animes of the Danganronpa series, Assassination Classroom, and Classroom of the Elite to name a few. Taking a look at the series from its nicely rendered characters to its smooth looking animation, you can tell it wasn't rushed out. Not only is the art great, but the colors used on the characters from their hair to the outfits they wear truly makes them stand out. Yes, I know their spacesuits are all the same, with the only difference being a color swap, but giving each character a different color helps make it so that there's no incidences of losing track of characters. Now losing track of characters isn't really a problem when it comes to Astro Lost in Space, but it is pleasing to the eyes when compared to something like Terraformers, which has a larger cast and has them all wear the same outfit and color. This anime isn't terribly long and can be watched within a day or two. That said, being short doesn't change the fact that it has a compelling story that is shrouded in mystery. With all that out of the way, Astra Lost in Space lands a score of 9 out of 10. Truly an out of this world series that has a great sense of exploration along with a well rounded cast even if the development individually is a little lacking because as a whole, each brings different qualities that balance one another out. That's all for this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and if you're new, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with new videos. I'm Otaku Mav, and I'll see you next time.